Hello, welcome fellow traders. AMP Futures here presenting another how to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to execute trades directly off the charts using the TradingView software. Now, there are multiple ways you can place trades using TradingView. You can use a depth of market trading dome, for example. You can use a traditional order ticket, or you can place trades directly off the chart, which is what we're about to demonstrate. So, first thing you want to do is make sure you have a chart open for the instrument that you wish to trade. So, for today's example, we're going to be working with the micro e-mini S&P 500. This is an exchange traded futures contract that trades on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. So before we get started, there are a couple crosshair options that you can activate for your chart. The crosshair, if you notice me moving the mouse around on the chart, is, you can see exactly what that is. It's a crosshair. And this is going to basically display where your cursor is hovered as far as the price level. So you can see on the right side there, 5446.50. Last trade price is that green price at the bottom there at 54.35 and a half. Now just bounce to 54.35 and a quarter. Now you can activate different crosshair options or pointer options from the left side drawing tool toolbar here. Here's the crosshair icon. The little arrow pointing to the right will give you access to the different options. For now, we're going to leave it on cross, but you have additional options such as dot and arrow as well. The next step is you want to identify the price level that you wish to place your order at. Now, before we do that, a couple things I want to point out. To place simple market orders will be displayed on the top left corner of the chart. You can see here the red button, which is sell market, the blue button, which is buy market. And of course, this is basically the bid and the ask price. So right now, we're currently bid 35 and a quarter by 35 and a half. Right be between it is just basically telling what the spread is between the bid and the offer, which is currently a tick, which is a quarter on the micro S&P 500. Now, one thing I want to point out as well, when we start placing trades, as I start demonstrating, order confirmations are automatically on by default when you use TradingView. We'll go ahead and show you how to turn that off if you want to be able to get into your trades a lot quicker as far as placing them without the order confirmation. And also, when you disable the order confirmations, you can change the order quantity on the top left corner. But right now, that option is not there because the order confirmations are currently activated. And you'll see what I mean in just a moment. So the first thing you're going to want to do is identify what price level you want to place your order at. So let's just use the example right now of 54.46. You want to make sure you hover your mouse cursor at that price level so it actually displays 54.46 as it does right now. So there's a couple things you can do. You can either right click on the chart to place the order. And then you can go here where it shows trade. And then you'll see the available option types that can be placed based at the price level of 5446. And what I mean by that, for example, as a trader, you should be aware that only certain order types can go on certain sides of the market. So what I mean by this is right now the market's currently trading at 5435 and a half. So if you were to place an order above that last trade price, the only order types that can be placed would be either a buy stop, a sell limit, or a buy stop limit. So if you place an order above the last trade price, Notice that the only available order types will be a sell limit, buy stop, and buy stop limit. So what TradingView is doing, there's what we call an auto detect function. It's understanding that the price level that you're looking to place the order at, only certain orders can be placed at that price level. So it's only giving you those, those specific options. I find this is a good feature because this is going to help you as a trader prevent placing the incorrect order on the wrong side of the market, which can either get you into a position or even worse, prematurely close out an open position. So just understand that if you're wondering why you don't see a specific order type, it's because that order type is not a valid order type. So for example, again, you can't place a buy limit above the last trade price. It's impossible. If you try to, the exchange is going to fill you immediately because the exchange recognizes that the last trade price is currently trading at a better price. So just understand that. So going back to the place in the order, there's two ways of doing it. You want to first identify the price level. So let's go back to 5446 once again. You can either right click and select trade, and then you can just simply choose the order type that you want to place. So let's just choose the example of selling one micro S&P 500 at 5446. Remember, order confirmations are currently on. So this is why it brings up this, this ticket because it's letting you know that, hey, are you sure you want to do this? And you got to review everything to make sure it's correct. So in this case, price 5446. Units, also known as the, the, the amount of contracts or lots that you want to buy or sell. And then you see the, the actual final confirmation here, what you're about to do. So as long as everything looks correct, you can hit the sell button. And now you can actually see the order visually working on the chart. To cancel the order, you can click the little X here. 
and now the order is canceled out once you agree to the confirmation. All right, so that's how you place an order by right clicking on the chart. Now, me personally, I think it's a little easier just by simply clicking the little plus sign to the left of the black shaded price. So right now you can see it's 54, 46, 75. So if I were to click that little plus sign, this just basically brings up that menu versus right clicking, going to trade, and then you'll see that menu. So it's just kind of like a shortcut to get to, to quicker access to see the available order types that you can place. Now you can go ahead and place the order type that you desire. So in this case, let's just use a buy stop, for example. There is that order confirmation once again. You want to make sure everything's correct. There's a confirmation. You're going to hit it, and now the order's been placed. All right. Now let's go ahead and cancel that order out by clicking this X, and there's a confirmation once again. We're going to hit yes. All right. Now, for efficiency, I'm going to go ahead and show you now how to turn off the order confirmations so you don't have to click multiple times in order for you to actually place the trade. So we're going to open up our trade panel here at the bottom. We're going to click where it shows, shows AMP demo, or if you're connected to a live account, it would say AMP live. And now we're going to go into our trading settings here. You want to make sure you click the trading menu option on the left side here, and you'll see an option that says instant orders placement. And by default, it is not active. So we're going to check this option. And keep an eye here on the top left corner. You're going to see that an order quantity field will populate the minute I activate it, as you can see there. Once I turn it off, it goes away. All right, so now click OK. And now I can click here to adjust the order quantity. So by default, of course, it's one. I can change it to two or type it in, whatever is easier. All right, now watch the difference from me placing the trade with the order confirmations off. I can simply choose the plus sign and simply place the order. And now the order is placed without you seeing that order ticket as an order confirmation. All right, so that's how you place trades directly on the chart. Now, to modify the order, very straightforward. Once the order is placed successfully, you'll actually see the working order display on the chart, which you can see at this moment. Sell limit at 54.43.75. When you hover your mouse cursor over the working order display, your mouse cursor will turn into a little hand icon, and you'll also have the ability to apply what we call an OCO bracket order. TP stands for take profit, and SL means stop loss. We'll demonstrate that in a moment. But for now, let's just show you how to modify orders. To modify the order, you want to hover your mouse cursor over the working order display until your cursor turns into a little hand icon, and now it's just a simple drag and drop. I'm going to hold down my left click and drag it and release once I want to amend to the price that I wish to move to. And now the order's been modified. Okay, once again, left click, there's that hand icon. Left click, drag and drop, release. Cancel the order, click in the X. All right, so, that's, so now you know how to place an order, you know how to turn off order confirmations, you know how to modify orders, you know how to cancel orders. Now let's go ahead and show you how to place an OCO bracket order to attach to the actual entry order that you're going to place on the chart. All right, so in this case, let's go ahead and place an order below the market price this time. We're gonna hover our mouse cursor below the last trade price. And this time we're gonna click the plus sign and we're gonna do a simple buy limit at 54.27.75. And now you can see the order has been placed. All right, now we're going to hover our mouse cursor, and now we can what we can do to apply an OCO bracket order. If you're not familiar with what an OCO bracket order means, OCO basically stands for order cancels other. So what this allows you to do is have in place a take profit, which is a limit order, and a stop loss. So if once the parent order, the parent order meaning the buy limit order to get into your position, will produce what we call the child orders, which is the take take profit and stop loss. So this is going to make it a lot easier for you, for example, when you get into the trade, you already have a profit target in place, you already have a stop loss in place, but the OCO will also be in effect as well. So let's just say, for example, you get stopped out on your position, that remaining limit order will automatically get canceled out, or vice versa, if you're able to collect a profit on your take profit, the remaining stop loss order will automatically get canceled out. So this pretty much means that you kind of have an automated process to get you out of your position, you have a covered bracket on both sides whether you're losing money on the trade or if you're making money, all right? So now that our order is working, how to place the OCO bracket, you want to hover your mouse cursor over either one of these TP or SL, all right? So let's stop, let's, let's go with the stop loss first. Since we're going to go long, our stop loss is going to be low, is going to go below our entry price of 54.27.75. So I'm going to left click, I'm going to drag it down, I'm holding it down, so it's very similar to modifying order, and you can see here, if I release here, that means our stop loss is going to be at 54.22 and a quarter. And it even gives you a dollar amount as well of how much you're going to lose on the trade, assuming you're going to place the stop loss at that particular price level. I'm going to release it, and now the stop loss is in place. Now we're going to do the same exact thing with the take profit. 
We're going to hover and mouse cursor over the working order display. TP is displayed. Notice SL is not there because we already have the stop loss working, or better yet, in play. All right, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to drag up because we're, this is a long position. And again, this shows you a dollar value of how much you're going to make on the trade, assuming that you got filled at 54.38 and a quarter. We're going to release the left click. And now we have a take profit in place and a stop loss in place. These are not working orders just yet because the buy limit order has not been filled just yet. But once the buy limit fills, gets filled, then the take profit and stop loss will, will be placed and you'll actually see those as working orders. So one thing I want to show you as well real quick in our trade panel, if we go to our orders tab here and we go to working, notice that we have a buy limit here for 54.2775. There's our take profit at 54.38 and a quarter, as you can see there. And there's our stop loss at 54.22 and a quarter, which you can see there. All right. Now remember, this is not an open position at the moment. This is simply a working order to get into the position. So once this position is filled, then the stop loss and the take profit will be working. Now, as I mentioned, it's an OCO order. So if I cancel the parent order before the order gets filled, watch what happens to the take profit and stop loss it gets canceled along with it as well. All right. And then last but not least, let's just go ahead and show you how to play some simple market orders so you can see the behavior of how open positions are displayed on the chart itself. So for example, here, I'm just going to go and take on a short position. Notice it was basically an instant click into the position. And now you can actually see the position is open. So right now, I'm currently short. Let's just double check in our trade panel. We'll go to positions here. From 54.35, you can see that visually on the chart as well. The red price there, there's our last trade price. So right now we're break even, you can see it's zero. And then you can also apply the OCO bracket order after the fact that you entered the position as well. So what I mean by that is at this point, we are now actually in the position. We have a short position, but we don't have any take profit and we don't have any stop loss as you can see here. So we essentially have a naked position. So let's go ahead and show you how to apply an OCO bracket after you've entered the position. So very similar concept, exactly the same in fact, if you hover your mouse cursor, you'll see the TP and SL up here, as you can see there. Now remember, we're short now. So this time, our take profit is going to go below our entry. So we're going to drag down, all right, and release. And now we have a take profit at $54.27.75. $36.25 is would be the dollar value, assuming we got filled at, at that particular price. And then we're going to move our stop loss above our entry. And now you can see our stop losses in place. So these are now actual orders that are working. If you notice here under orders, these are actual live orders because we're already in the position. All right. So now we have a short position. We have a protective stop loss and we have a take profit to get us out at a profit. Hopefully the market will move in our favor and we'll be able to collect that $36.25. And then this little button here that you see is also reverse position. If you click that button, that's simply going to reverse your position at the current market price. So for example, right now we're short one. If I hit this reverse button, this is gonna basically reverse my position. Now you notice I'm long one instead of short one. Also notice that once I did that, it automatically canceled out the take profit and stop loss. So now again, we have a naked position. So now I can go ahead and just move and take profit to the top and stop loss below. And now I have a stop loss in place and I have a take, uh, take profit in place for my long position. And to close the position out at the current market price, you can also click the little X here over the open position display as well. This is going to be a market order. All right. Remember, whenever you use a take profit and stop loss OCO bracket order, once you close out that position, as I just demonstrated, it's also going to cancel out those orders as well. And this is how you execute trades directly off the chart using the TradingView platform.